What is up guys, Zach Scott here playing Plants vs. Zombies 2 and there's a brand new plant available in early access. It's the Tiger Grass, I've got it. And so uh, let's read about it. It costs 150 sun for now at level one, uh, seven recharge, 40 damage. The plant food power is called Ultimate Tiger. And uh, let's see, Tiger Grass spawns a Grass Tiger who leaps out to attack nearby zombies. And then Grass Tiger grows over time. Tiger Grass is waiting. The Grass Tiger waits within. Soon their time will come, and then the slashes, the fury. We'll see what that means. Uh, I want to see this tiger grass in action. It's an armament plant, right? That's what the arm means. Armament, I think. <laughs> we'll see, and we'll go into the travel log today. And there's also a new arena, so we'll have that out tomorrow. Uh, but I just wanted to focus on the new plant today. Uh, so tiger grass, there's got to be a five-step right here. You get 50 additional tiger grass seed packets if you do this. So if you've already bought it, it'll go up to level two. And uh, that's what I want to see. I want to see how this thing works here. So, uh, plant tiger grass to spawn aggressive grass tigers. All right. What does that mean? How aggressive are we going to get here? So, first up, I'm going to go ahead and plant some sunflowers. Um, and then I guess I'll plant these. I, I want one there. Okay, so he's, oh, he's a little, little kitten. He is attacking the grave. Little kitty cat. Oh, he jumped out. He's just going to go on. Okay, that's interesting. Whoa, he jumped. Okay. Interesting. So he j Whoa, he jumped out. Wow. That was going quick. He jumped out past the gray, uh, past the walnut there. And just totally, uh, totally took him out. Whoa, he's bigger than ever. Holy cow. You see that guy? Okay, such a weird plant. <laughs> so some of them are growing. I want to see, I still want to see what happens here. Look at him. Whoa. And of course, I want to use end up using a plant food. Oh, hold on. This one this one's coming out strong, I bet. Hold on. Let's see what happens with this one. So he's still a little kitten. Oh, he got eaten. He got eaten. What happens? Does he grow a new one? I hope he grows a new one. There you go. There you go. Whoa. Dude. Wow. Okay. We're gonna have to plant extras in some of these. Do they get any bigger than that one out right now? He's gonna get hurt. Uh oh, here he comes. Uh oh, uh oh. This one might actually. Okay, we, we got him, we got him, good. These bucket heads are gonna get. This is such an interesting plant. I've never seen anything like this before in Plants vs. Zombies. And he jumps back when he's out of range. I still, I wish I had a plant food to use here. Cause we got a gargantuar coming up, uh oh. I planted another, I'm gonna plant like two more then if the gargantuar is gonna be here. Oh. I didn't know a gargantuar was gonna be coming out here. He's really attacking the other guys though, that's good. Oh my goodness, how are we gonna do this? Well, I mean, the lawnmower will get him eventually, but I was hoping that these tigers would just get him. Someone get the imp. That was quick, good job. We need we need them to jump out multiple at a time. There, whoa, those guys are fierce. And these are level ones, so I can just imagine what a level 10 will do. I can't wait to get him up to level 10 and really showcase him. Uh, so, uh, let's go back in with another tiger grass level <laughs> and see how it does all right pirate seas i wonder if they're gonna jump in the water all right looks like we could use some plants i suppose uh let's just uh you know what this is probably fine let's bring in some sun uh let's bring in wow a lot of stuff disabled they don't want us using much else and so that's fine we can bring in the Telepotato Mine, though. Why not? Uh, actually, what I would I would probably rather bring in um, more sun, just in case. So that's just in case. All right, and then this time we'll get to use the plant food, which is exciting. Oh, we have enough. We have a lot of sun starting off. I didn't realize we had so much sun starting off. That one's going up there. And you know I'm gonna I'm gonna put like a couple here. Right. 
All right, there's one sliding in here. Jump out, please. I mean, they're pretty formidable just on their own. There's one sliding in here. I don't even know why I brought the mushrooms in. Look at that, holy cow. Landlubber. Wow, okay, this is gonna be cool. I, I wanna see what happens here. Let's wait until we have a clear shot so we can tell what's happening. So right here in the middle, right here in the middle. Oh man, I boosted that one. So hes I guess he grew all the way. But he's kind of far in the back, so let's go with uh, this one here. I wanna see this guy. Whoa, look at that. It's like a saber tooth tiger almost. Look how strong he is. What the heck? This, this is such a this is such a unique plant here. Will he jump out over? He'll jump out over the edge if I put him in the front, right? But he, did he die? Did he go in the water? He might have gone in the water. I think he jumped at the imp that was shot. There's still the big one right there. We got a bunch of big stuff in the middle. I don't know what happened to that one. There we go, we're gonna have a bunch of big old tigers. Right over here. Look at that, Look, holy cow, look at that. So many tigers. Now the airborne guys are interesting, right? All right, let me uh, boost, 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 boost. We got a lot of big tigers coming out. Oh wow, the middle row right there. Look at that middle row. We got like two big tigers coming out attacking them. All right, final wave. Let's see it. <laughs> These are vicious tigers. Wow. He's doing a good job. He's got like metal claws or something, dude. Now that, that cannon's probably gonna explode and then we're gonna have to deal. Oh, look at that, look at him, he just leaped out. And then they're gonna deal with all the imps really quickly, I'm sure of it. So let's see. Come on out, you imps. There you go. All right, now what? All right, well that was awesome. Let's go into the third stage now and play with Tiger Grass. Cute little kitty cat. Meow, meow, meow. Uh, so let's see what what's gonna happen with this. This is really interesting. So this is an ice-based stage. Are we gonna need to, how much sun do I start with? Does it even tell me? Okay, are, are we gonna need to... Let's bring this guy in. Are we gonna need some sort of uh, way to defrost these? Can I not bring in any fire plants at all? Are you kidding me? Are you joking, kidding me right now? Okay, well, I guess I'll bring in... I mean, the, the hot potato, obviously. Can I bring in, like, what about the snapdragon? Will that... Where's the Snapdragon? There it is. That might work. Let's try it. I don't know. Uh, okay. This is where the, the heat's coming in here. Hopefully the, it emits some heat. I think it does. Let's see how these little kitty cats do. All right, good start, obviously. And uh, it's giving us the mint, so we'll be able to see how the mint affects these tiger grasses overall. So they attack the airborne zombies, which is good. All 
All right, hold on. We're gonna have to see in a second how this. I'm gonna wait till I get the. I'm gonna wait till I get the one in the bottom because we we want the one in the bottom. Let's see. Okay, uh, let's let's do this. So what happens now? What happens now? With these powered up, what does it do? What does it do? Well, how did this guy get shrunk? I have no idea how they got shrunk. Oh, by the mint. Of course, of course. Okay. Which makes them an easier target. All right, so here's what I want to have done. There we go, let's bring out a big boy here. I hope to have uh, a bunch of plant food so I can just take these guys out pretty quickly. So, whoa! Even the, uh, the, the tiger, the tiger grass got affected by that block that pushes you up or down. That's interesting. Oh boy, we have a, okay, here, let's, 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 let's expand. We're expanding here. And hopefully I can shrink them again, I don't know. The top is a little worrisome, but that's okay. We're gonna have a mint ready soon. Let's fast forward, I think we're good. Bringing them down, there you go. If we can get some more plant food, that'll be great. Oh boy, top row, top row. Okay, so. We got him, we got the gargantuar. Oh geez, they planted one right on him. Nice, okay. Where's the next Gargantuar down below? But he's he's powered with plant food. But I put one in the back just to take care of his imps that he throws. Man, even that tiger gets destroyed sometimes. Okay, he's gone. Wow. Okay, well that's that. That was another good round. Get our bag of money, please. And then, uh, tiger grass, next level. Let's do it. Let's do it. Survive and protect the endangered plants. So there are tall nuts here. Okay, and then, so yeah, the tiger grass would be really good on a dark, a dark ages stage because of the gesture. Uh, so what do we want to bring in? Uh, can I not bring in? There's so much I cannot bring in. No mints. Oof. Um, I'm going to bring this in just in case things get out of hand. Teleport to mine. It is level 10. Um, no mints though, huh? Maybe some of these. Let's bring in, um, can I bring in plant food? Nope. Fine. Uh, what? Uh, can I? Hmm, let me bring that in, dude. I don't know what to bring in, honestly. Um, because I think we're gonna be fine. Okay. Well. Um, looks good. I'm gonna put in as much tiger grass as makes sense, I suppose. Maybe starting there, just to take out the graves, you know. Wait, is he attacking? No, there was a grave on there. I was like, wait a second, what's this guy attacking? All right, all right. So we'll see how this guy, deal the, the gesture deals with the tiger. I think it'll be fine. Yeah, he's fine. He doesn't spin or anything like that. All right, one, two, three. There you go, there you go. Powered up three of them. Oh, 
There you go, there you go. Uh, let's see. So we have, oh, there's number four. So we have a big old tiger who's gonna jump out at him. No, not that, what the heck, okay. I mean, it seems like we're doing pretty good. They put up more graves, but we stopped that in its tracks. Yeah, I mean, my tigers are doing great, right? This one, I don't think I powered up that one. Can I power it up again? No. So uh, yeah. So here we go. This is a big rush of them, but they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna pay. They're gonna pay for what they've done. <laughs> we're doing pretty good here. We're protecting. We're attacking. These imps can't make it very far. Watch out for these guys. So basically, we're just seeing the tiger in action. This is a level 10, by the way. I didn't realize that was a level 10. So what's the deal with level 10? I don't I don't really know. I mean, I guess they're still, they're strong, right? So they cost less. I don't seem to be having any issues with these level 10 tigers, <laughs> especially the ones I boosted. So does, does he withstand a, a hammer hit from that gargantuar? I can even tell. All right. Well, good job to me. Take my bag of money. This is such a unique plant. They just keep coming out with new plants all the time. Like at least like one a month, right? Let's do it again. Tiger grass style. This is a, this is a really cool plant. I, I mean, it is kind of like the other armament style plants, you know, like where they, you know, just, just direct melee attack, but they kind of have an advantage in the fact that they can keep spawning new ones and they also shoot forward. So there's a lot going on here. I'm going to, I don't know how to handle it, but I'm going to bring in uh, some sun. Can I bring in any mints this time? They don't let me bring in mints, dudes. We got to deal with the fact that there are, can I bring in, uh, I might need to bring those in. Uh, otherwise, we, we're probably good. I don't know. How's this look to you guys? Looks pretty good, right? Let's just wait, see what happens. Boom. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be easy with it. You know, I'm gonna wait. All right, all right. How does that? How does that affect him? Oh, hold on. Here comes this guy. Hold on. Whoa, he got crunched. I want to see how. Oof, this could be bad. There you go. There you go. These are just level ones. So they go, so this is showing me that they go right through the shovels. How do they deal with, uh, how do they deal with some of these other things? Whoa, so they, okay, this is actually showing me also that they stay, that they, they do a good job attacking these ferrets too. Oof, they kind of has, Okay, 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 hold on, hold on. Yeah, they do a great job at attacking the ferrets. Oh boy. I am curious how the fire affects them. I'm, I'm assuming they burn.
There you go, man. We are just killing it here. This is great. All right. Well, so we learned that they are pretty good. I think they're pretty good against the weasels and the ferret, whatever they're called, the ferrets. Was that it? Well, we did all five. Okay, great. I didn't even realize. So now my tiger grass is going to be level two. And so let's go to the travel, no, not, I'm sorry, the almanac and collect on that. And then we'll take them across a few stages just out of curiosity what happens. Uh, I didn't fully get to see what happens with the fire. I kind of want to bring him to a fire stage, but he's level two. Uh, so, it, oh, the sun cost drops already. That's awesome. So, let me take him. I, I always take all the plants that are, are new to a pirate seas stage to showcase how they work against massive quantities of weak enemies. And I'm really curious how that's going to work here because I don't know if they're going to be able to survive against a ton of imps. They're not going to be able to attack the cannons. So, as far as I know, they're not. And so we're gonna be able to see. I I don't think they will. Uh, we'll, we'll 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 check obviously, but um, let's level 22, and we'll see how they do against massive amounts of imps as they explode from the cannons, and see if they can take them out or not. Uh, see if they can handle just a large quantity of weak zombies. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but I don't really know how it's gonna go. So uh, how many can we put out there? I don't know. It doesn't really matter what we bring in here because this is all. Let's just rock. Let's go. I'm going to flood it with uh, tiger lilies. Thankfully, the price just dropped. So I can put out more. That looks pretty good. Uh, I can fit one more. Two more. I can fit two more. So, sure. I probably wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to fit these two more if it weren't for the fact that the price just dropped. But let's see how it goes. I don't think they can leap out towards the cannons. Um, I don't think they can. But So we're not going to use our plant food. We're just going to fast forward because this is going to be... A game of patience because if you really want to take these out, you would do something else. But we're just gonna wait. I think they'll be able to handle all the imps now that I now that I see how how they act. Yep. Oh, and they they've already powered up to the bigger tigers. Okay, so far so good. So far they haven't. I'm curious if the imps will even eat a single one of these tiger grasses. We'll see as as soon as more cannons like this one. Wow, gone instantly. Gone instantly. Wow. Now hold on. We're gonna we're gonna have a lot more though coming up where that came from. I mean they're pretty effective, right? Wow. Wow. Dude, they just they don't even care. So they're really good against weak enemies. Even massive amounts of weak enemies they're really good against. We're about to see more explode though. Shredded. Absolutely shredded. And this is only a level two. Amazing. I missed picking up that coin. This is absolutely amazing. Wow. Oh, they ate one. They did eat one. Yeah, so this is going my way exactly how I thought it would. I mean, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I had my doubts. I had my doubts at first. <laughs> These guys are quite formidable. Wow. Oh, whoa! Hold up. The bottom ate like three of them. What happened? No, oh, ate two. Ate two. So they are getting bites off. So that's one thing to consider is that they did do some damage. Wow. But we overall were very successful. Sometimes they don't even get damage off on me, but they did they, they did do some damage. So the grass itself is, you know, kind of weak. Of course, so that will be fixed by leveling it up. But so what do I want to test out now? Um, I'm trying to think about what I, I, I kind of want to test out the fire, how they deal. I, I bet they get burned. I bet the tiger just gets straight up burned when that happens. But we'll see. Um, let me let me kind of go in order. 
So there's nothing in particular I want to test out about ancient Egypt. There's no like special mechanics that I can think of. Uh, Wild West, same. We have already kind of tested out Frostbite Caverns. The Lost City has the guys who burn things, right? Let's let's take it on one of the more advanced stages and see how they handle the fire. I, I'm assuming they do fine. But they, they get burned, but ultimately we will be successful? I don't know. Let's find out. If, if there's no fire guys on 29, I'll just I'll pick a different stage. I don't really remember where these guys are. All right, so the thing I don't I don't see him. Uh, okay, hold on. Let me. Am I thinking about the wrong stage? The wrong world? Let me try a different stage really quick. And if, if it doesn't work like that, then I'll have to look it up. In fact, let me just look it up to save you guys time. All right. Uh, I am not smart. <laughs> uh, the Explorer Zombie is in ancient Egypt. I totally forgot that. Uh, I just see, to me, Explorer, Lost City kind of goes together, you know, but uh, no, ancient Egypt. So there he is right there. I, I do want to see what happens with the tiger grass, obviously. Um, and I want to see how it handles fire. I'm going to specifically play in such a way that, you know, lends itself to the, the fire. Uh, him getting hit by the fire, hopefully. We'll see. Um, other than that, I don't think I'm going to bring out... Uh, you know, I'll bring this as a backup. I don't think I'm, I don't think I'll need it, but um, let's just see how this goes, right? And maybe this is a backup in case I need to put it out. Whatever. the The main thing is I'm trying to see how it works against fire. Jeez, that no! I always forget that noise scared me, man. The music is back, so kind of threw me off a little bit. So that's just a regular zombie. The problem is I had lasers in the uh, the previous stage that one of these guys was in, so. All right. All right, so we still got. So wait, not does every stage ha have they added music back to every stage or just some of the stages? Because this is like constant music. Where are the fire guys? This guy's building more graves, so we'll have to take we'll have to stop those. And they're pretty good against graves too. <laughs> stop building the graves. Alright, now here's fire guys. We'll see how these guys work. Especially we'll look at the bottom row. Whoa, they, that guy did not get burned. I don't know if he would have gotten burned if he would have stood around a little longer. But that guy did not get burned. Wow. And just one of those at level two takes out a sarcophagus zombie. Like, no problem. All right, let's fast forward. Let's just... I'm still curious if... It, it, Here I'm gonna put I'm gonna put some in the back in case the, the gargantuars start coming out. Let's see. I should have brought plant food. I wanna see what happens with the fire guy again. Wow. All right. One, two, three, four. We got bigger tigers coming out now. We're gonna have a fifth one in a second here. From the bottom row. Uh, just fast forward. Thank <laughs> you. 
Dude, he doesn't even get burned. He just stands there. Okay, so the fire is not an issue for these guys, I guess. This tiger, I mean, can withstand a, at least one hit from the Gargantuar. All right, so that question has been answered. I don't know what other questions I might have. Um, man, what other questions do I have? Because <laughs> I don't know. Um, let me just kind of go through again. I just, I just, they're so formidable that I, I don't really know what other things. I mean, Far Future has a lot of robots. I guess I could just like out of curiosity, how do they fare against robots? Probably pretty well. Neon you know, mixtape tour, Jurassic Marsh, Big Wave, Big Wave Beach. That's a question. How do they, how do they handle water? We haven't seen how they handle water. Tigers love water. They better be able to swim. <laughs> uh, but we'll see. Um, I think I, I think one of these stages is there's like a. I don't. I never remember exactly. Is it 28 or 27 that I, I like to do? I don't like to do any of the <laughs> big wave beach stages because they're so hard. No. If this one has limited plants, I might not do this one. Sometimes they have stipulations. It's like, oh, you can't have so many. Don't lose more than five plants. You know what? Should be fine. I hope. Well, it will be fine depending on how they handle the water. So, the cool thing about these guys is that it almost doesn't see doesn't it almost doesn't you almost don't care how, what happens to them. Um, I'm gonna bring in the yeah these kind of losing plants. I'm gonna bring in one of these guys. And. You know, I just hope this goes well for me. I, I really do. All right. Whatever. Let's rock. Let's see how this goes. I didn't bring in any mints. Notice that. So this is a bit of a challenge because I can't lose so many plants, but we'll see how it goes ultimately. Come on, give me, there you go. All right, so this will be a real challenge. How does this handle it? Does he jump into the water? Does he swim? Does it, what happens here? This will be a good mystery answered. He can swim. Nice. Very cool. Well, that makes me pretty happy. That's a, that's a good answer to the question. I'm just gonna put in as much sun as I can now. Just really try to flood the fields with tigers. See how we deal. We need one more tiger. Right there, there we go. We, we need more than one, but you know what I'm saying. Look at that, and it's just like a really like, quick, instant kill. So good. This tiger guy, this tiger fella. <laughs> Pretty good. Now, if a tiger gets eaten, I don't think it counts as losing a plant. It better not. So the tigers still don't get, go out and attack the uh, the guys underwater, of course. Probably because he can't see him, but he'll see him soon. Soon enough, he'll pop out. He'll be like, hello, and they're like, nope. Oh, whoa, whoa. They, they, they leap out short? That was odd. I mean, I'm worried that they're gonna start eating the lily pads. I'm also worried that we're not gonna have, okay, that it needs to be on this third row to at least reach out to the next, uh, yeah, okay. Oh, crud, the surfers, how do they, okay, he, he got the surfer pretty good. Good, good, good. Uh, who's next, okay, okay, jump out and get him, jump out and get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Get him quickly. Oh, God, well, okay, good, got him. That was a close one, though. Okay, wow, he got him, he got him. And the thing is, is that they pull him closer so that he's able to jump out and get him. All right, watch out for this. This is gonna be a little wreck here. I'm gonna power this one up. So it's, it's almost like they jump short when those guys pop up, you know? I 
I'm gonna put another thing there. Although that's probably really reckless. Low tide. Destroyed. Destroy. Destroy them, please. Oh boy. We haven't lost anything yet. But, oh my god. I powered it up. We're gonna maybe lose some stuff here. Nope. Not yet. Wow. Wow. We I can't that's such a hard stage for me. This is one of the like the dreaded stages, and like the tiger lily really did a good job. Wow. Okay, well we've learned quite a lot today. I'm so glad they can swim. Thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. Be sure to come back next time. We got arena to cover. We also have a new Penny's Pursuit on Wednesday. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna do those videos. So I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help the channel grow, all you gotta do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join on YouTube and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit ZachScott.shop. Come back next time for more.